Hello, friends. You went from one menu music to another menu music of the actual game. <laughs> okay. Hello. So, how's it going, friends? Um, we're playing more Danger by Design. Um, if you would like to play the drink with me, uh, I am drinking soda tonight instead. Um, if you'd like to play it with me, drinking game rolls are down below my face. Also, if you'd rather just look at them on our um, Tumblr, which is where they are from, you can either click the rule, read them, uh, read them in the picture, and it'll take you to the page, or you can just go to crawlmeistersisters.tumblr.com, and you can find them there. So we're going to load back up what yesterday. Ah, yes, dangerously bad game. That must be the box. Oh, of right. We're supposed to now find all of the. Ooh. Well, this gives us a reason to. Bullshit. Ah. Dear Miss Manette. In the books on the women of the French Resistance, exploits of Noisette Trenard, because she owned the windmill which you now own. This is from that historian who called me for it. Maybe she can help me figure out why Dita was carrying that obituary around. Okay. Um, beginning of October. Cool bean. This fabric is so strange. It's soft and metallic all at the same time. Okay. Motherfucker. Oh, nuts. I would my gosh. The letters in these fonts look hmm. exactly like the ones that were used in one of those threatening notes Manette got. Which means Heather must have sent it. Did she? Or it's just that these are popular fonts. Oh god, I hate this. I hate this way too long. Plate time's over, little guy. Yeah, fuck Poor you. Girl. Sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Fighting. Minette named her favorite dress form Carol. It's weird, okay. but. Whatever. Not the weird I've seen her do, in fact, so. Hello. Why am I so bad at this? Fine, I have a Say goodnight, Tracy. That's weird that she did that. I missed. Yeah. Missed it. Mm. Too slow. This is actually harder with a bigger screen. Missed it. Gotcha. There you go, you little fucker. If I were an insect, where would I hide? Tons of places. Nuts, I was this close. I caught it! <laughs> Fancy. Wonder how all that red paint got there. I don't know. Here, buggy, buggy, buggy. When it comes to making tea, been there. Okay, done. I was just wondering if there was a bug under there. Ew! I thought working for a fashion designer was going to be glamorous. I thought it was going to be glamorous. 
Nancy, you took this as a case. You knew this wouldn't be timorous. Missed it, fucker. There we go. Done. There's two left. I do not- I'm not gonna lie. If I was actually doing this, I would just be like, sorry, Minette, they were dead when I found them. I'm terrible. The other way again. Not the one. On. Here, buggy, buggy, buggy. What am I? Come on. I hate that I can't like get into her stuff though. Even nosier than Nancy. Aha! There, that has got to be the last bug. Gotta be. You can open the door now, Manette. Did you get all of the bugs? Yes, Manette. How many are there? I don't know, nine. Are they all alive? Yes, Manette. Are you sure you didn't kill any? Positive. And they're all in the box? Yes. Okay, listen. I want you to take that box to the park and let those things go. Only I don't want to be here when you come out. Probably the only thing those twisted little vermin are thinking about right now is revenge. Manette, they're cockroaches. Exactly! So I want you to count to ten, and then, and only then, are you to come out of there, all right? Anything you say. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> what a nut job. Nancy, I feel like you're being overly judgmental here on this aspect of it. Because yes, I do agree to an extent, however, still, you're being rude about it. Oh, someone told us what to do, so take a drink. Okay guys, end of the line, you are out of here. I bet the people in the park are like, what the fuck? What is she doing? Why is she putting more insects? I'm just having fun. I know we don't have to be. But it's fun. Okay. Let's look at our task list. Can't check that nope. off yet. Nope. That's finished. Haven't been that yet. Oops. Haven't done that. Oh, I haven't given it back to Heather. The moment I got in there. Check. I got told to. Still need to do. Fuck off. Um. Catch roaches. I forgot. Being scared of bugs is the weird part. That's the weird thing about Minette. Obviously. Yep. 
Yo, fucking Heather. How's it going? I always go. Did you get the stuffed parrot? I did. What's it for anyway? It's a Manette thing. You wouldn't understand. No one would. Here's that envelope I picked up from JJ's. I almost forgot. No problem. I did forget. What's with all the red paint that splattered on the wall in Manette's studio? I came in one morning last month and there it was. Manette must have had a bad night. You didn't ask her about it? Manette always throws things when she's upset. Remember what happened when you first arrived? Shouldn't really oh, take yeah, that. The potted plant. I get your point. So why did you write her threatening? Did you write Manette take a drink. Threatening letter? What? Actually, I wrote those letters. I saw the memo you sent Manette about fonts. The letters on it match the letters on one of the threats I found in her dodo box. You opened Manette's dodo box? Hmm. That's the real reason you didn't want me looking in there, isn't it? Okay. A couple months ago, I got so fed up with her that I... I just had to get back at her somehow. I'd seen how upset those other letters made her, so I sent one of my own, but Amazing. just that one. And I never intended to really do anything to her. I just wanted her to suffer. You know, emotionally. <laughs> That's so amazing that she's saying that trying to sound like, um... Like we should understand. I just wanted her to suffer emotionally. I wasn't going to physically hurt her. Just scar her. That's fine. The way she made you suffer when she started going out with Dieter. You really don't miss a trick, do you? I don't. I thought when she dumped him like that that he'd finally come to his senses and realize that I'm the one he should be with. But even now, even after she broke up with him, she still has some kind of weird, sick hold on him. Look, you're not going to tell Minette about this, are you? There's really no need. It'll just upset her all yeah. over again. Oh, I'm she's good. so far behind as it is. And there's no telling how she'd take it out on me, or on you, for that matter, just for telling her. So don't say anything to her, okay? I'm gonna have to think about it. I'll see you later. Okay, well, what else do I have to do? Uh, okay, I gotta call the lady. Check. I have to talk to Dieter. Been there, done that. Finally did all this other shit, Check. Though. Okay, so let's go talk to Dieter and then go home. Yes. I hate that I can't know what time it is. So it's like, I have no idea um, if I've actually, like, been out for too long or anything. I just wanted to emotionally devastate the obviously unhinged woman. Is that so bad? Sounds like I know, right? someone's in the dark room. Okay, well... Time to look through the chip then. Nope, there's no shit to really look through. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Mr. Von Schwesterkonk? Are you in there? Who's there? Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. I just wondered what you were doing in Square du Vert Galant Park. I, uh, I was just taking a walk. You dropped an obituary about Noisette Tournade. Shall I leave it for you? There's no need. I don't want it. What about Why the were clock you carrying thing? it around? Because I, uh, I was going to send it to my grandma. I thought she knew the woman. Said that. You Awkward. also dropped some kind of trinket. Looks like a miniature clock. That's something my great uncle Hans did. It's actually a key. It opens <laughs> the panel over there to the right of the bookshelf. Awkward. He lived here during the war. The place has been in the family ever since. What's behind the panel? Go ahead and see for yourself. It's a little it's awkward that the German guy. Place. Like, it's been in my family since the war. You know. One. E. Occupying places. But I'm sure we bought this property fair and square. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Oh What's god. Up with this?
But if this one can't move, does that mean I have to put them... Okay, let's try that again. Fester Kronk? Believe it or not, that key your uncle gave you opened up some kind of passageway. Is it okay if I see where it goes? A passageway? You never said anything about a passageway. Go ahead and explore it all you want. Just be careful. This building is very old. Okie dokie. Glad I'm not a fly. Oh, right. I wonder what that symbol means. The year when our despair ended. The year when my despair began. I mean, I was just looking at the thing. And also, that's war ended. gonna take that looks like some kind of code wonder what that thing is hmm. those dials remind me of the stone discs in Minette's studio the ones she got paint all over dear Noisette we thank you for your bravery and dedication for working with the resistance please know that this work is extremely Extremely dangerous, and under no circumstance should you ever reveal any information or contacts you have learned about. We will provide further instructions on the M380 machine, a wonderful contraption we like to call our dear old friend. I'm sure 380 will soon become your share of me, the more you use it. Essentially, 380 allows for the encoding and decoding of messages. Here are some tips. You must set the three dials in the correct position before decoding or encoding a message. Then just type the message. If you ever enter an incorrect key during decoding, the machine may reset. Also, be sure the dials are set correctly. If not, the message will be encoded or decoded incorrectly, or the machine may reset. Never use the enter or return key. That will reset the whole machine. If a message is broken up, just ignore these line breaks. Ignore any punctuation or spaces in an encoded message. A circle with a slash through it is a zero. Rachel and I will soon be in Paris and hope to meet you. I'm quite intrigued by your metro system of transportation, and I've been thinking about how to use the numbered lines and names of metro stops for a code. And thank you for your advice on using date shift ciphers. I, I never thought about using other numbers besides just dates. One could use the number of a house address, like 1216 Sunnyside Drive, the population of a town, the ID number of a favorite friend, etc. Try it out. Use the Dewey Decimal number of my favorite book, 109 RUS. Let's write that down. Encode this message. Hmm. S. We often use the Cross of Lorraine as our symbol. Joan of Arc used it, you know? It's beautiful. I don't know. They love spies. Their whole thing. Well, this is ours now, so take a drink. Nancy's just gonna take it. Nancy is huge on finders keepers. dude. Sorry, I'm busy. Okay. 
that's cool. Okay. Sure. Still need to do that. That's finished. Been there, done that. That's finished. Cool. Check. Things are going well. I guess we gotta go. Buy some shit. Who gives us money, had it? Bonjour. What intrigues, mademoiselle, this time? Let's. Do you still need someone to paint pictures for you? Be my guest. Sure. A couple. Monsieur, Beautiful. how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you well, wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe it depends on how much you're going to charge yes. me. Now you buy something. I only have 43 euros. That looks that just cost. like a picture that was in Noisette's code book. How much is this? I have been told that it is probably a decoder used by those who resisted the German occupation of World War II. Really? How much do you want for it? Nothing. It is not for sale. It is a piece of history. I have it only as an eye catcher. But you're a businessman. You must be willing to part with it for something. Uh, I will trade you one piece of history for another. You give me a battle of Mouton Fouette in 1968, and I give you the decoder. Deal. What's Mouton Fouette? Mouton Fouette, 1968 is a very rare beverage that is usually stored on the ground. Unfortunately, finding an intact bottle has become next to impossible. But if you want that to go there, the impossible Amazing. is what you must do. So, get me a bottle of Mouton Fouette in 1968. I will accept nothing less. In the meantime, what else tickles the fancy? What's this book about? I don't care what that the book's is about. a very good book about codes which are commonly used. It is a mere 15 euro. Make that 11 euros and we have a deal. Vendu. And what I might as well buy my little gear. A wetsuit. Not just then a wetsuit. <laughs> used to belong to a friend of the famous undersea explorer Jacques Cousteau. A friend who is said to have shared many no, adventures with him. I don't got as the monies. I sell it for 125 euros. <laughs> no thanks. What else tickles the fancy? None of this shit. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Au revoir. Ah, ciphering. I know what ciphers are. Book code. Cipher. ships
Cool. Sorry. Not sure how I get a bottle of wine. Um, don't remember. It's been so long. It's too late to go anywhere now. Ah, fuck you, Nancy. I hate that they also just make me go to bed. I needed to also call people, Nancy. Make this impossible for me. Okay. Call some guy I saw in a magazine. Hello, Jing Jing Ling. Is it truly you? Uh, no, this isn't Jing Jing. I'm just calling from her phone. From her phone? So you know Jing Jing? Are you her friend? Well, yeah, I guess. You are the most lucky person in the world. I am a big fan of Xing Xing. I call her house and leave massage. I call Minette because I know she works there, but she will not talk to me. She is too... Um, what is the word? Paranormal? Uh, you mean paranoid? Yes, yes, paranoid. So, if you are not Xing Xing, why do you call me? This is Zhu, right? Yes, yes, I am Zhu. Well, Zhu, my name is Nancy Drew, and I saw a symbol on the wall when I was in an underground passage not too long ago. It looked like two leaves with two nut-type things attached to them. And I just wondered if you could tell me what it meant or why it was there. Yes, yes, of course I can. But first, you must have Jing write something for me. Write something for you? You must have her write something that I can keep. Have her write, Zhu, my love, Jing. Then, take the metro to the Danfer Rochereau station, enter the catacombs, find the bones from the Magdalene Cemetery, and put the autograph in the skull below the plaque. Have her write Zoo, my love Jing, go to the catacombs, find the Magdalene cemetery bones, and leave the autograph in a skull. Yes, yes, exactly that. Don't worry about desecrating the person whose bones they may be. It's the fine. It is a fake. It's a fake. My friend and I put it there. And so, after you deliver it, you call me and I tell you all about the symbol you saw. But what if Jing Jing refuses? Then, Nancy Drew, it seems we will both be very disappointed. Oh well. Okay. Cool. Also do our calling card. Because we can call. Okay. So that might have been a Spanish teacher I had. No, Lynn Manrique. I'm right. European history, Lynn Manrique. Hello, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from Paris. Actually, I talked to you earlier. We earlier, to two Manette. days ago. She's finally calling me back? Wonderful. Please, put her on. Uh, I'd like to, but I'm afraid she's still too busy to talk to you. Oh. But if you don't mind, could I ask you a couple of questions about Noisette Tournade? Certainly. How long did she live in the Moulin, where Manette now has her studio? She oh, lived there hate. for 55 years, from 1949 to 2004. She sold it when she moved to Provence, which is where she passed away. She never married, you know. Very private person. She there served as Paris's director of public works for more than 20 years. I know, I read that same thing, too. Been able to tell me what her favorite color was. What did she do during the war? From 1942 until the liberation of Paris, Noisette worked as a translator for the Germans by day and an encoder for the French resistance by night. This, as you might imagine, made everyone suspicious of her, both French and Germans alike. And after the war, things got ugly. Especially when people found out she was romantically involved with a German soldier. Awkward. His name was Hans, Hans von Schwesterkrank. <gasps> You're kidding me. Von Schwesterkrank? Was he by any chance related to Dieter von Schwesterkrank, the Schwester fashion Kronk. photographer? I'm afraid I have no idea. Hans left Paris right after the war and never returned, leaving Noisette to fend for herself. She was tried as a collaborator in 1946 and acquitted, but the experience left her quite bitter. You see, some people said that during the war she took various pieces of artwork, mostly from churches, and stashed them away somewhere so they wouldn't fall into enemy hands. Were they recovered after the war? The artwork remains lost to this day. No one knows exactly what Noisette took, or if indeed she took anything. 
In any case, Noisette was terribly hurt that the city she loved had turned on her like that. After her trial, she told the press that the truth of what she'd done during the war resided in her and in the person and place she loved the most. And that was that. She never spoke of her wartime activities Amazing. again. I assume that the person she was referring to was Hans von Festerkonk, who passed away a year or two ago, and that the place was her beloved Moulin, which is why I'm hoping Manette will allow <laughs> me to visit it. Now, I've got a question for you. In the hours before she died, Noisette was said to have constantly muttered three words. Red left green. Is there anything inside the Moulin that has to do with red left green? Anything at all? No, but I'll keep that in mind and let you know if I see something. I'd appreciate it. Any other questions? Holy shit, I got a lot of questions apparently. After the war, when she was the director of public See, works, I have always kind of loved uh, like she encoding and ciphers and stuff. Ariana and I used to do that day. kind of shit all the time. Streets, bridges, parks, their maintenance all came under Noisette's purview. She particularly enjoyed putting various forms of art on permanent display in various public places, especially parks. What was the French resistance? I'm just going to ask that all these the questions. Given to the various groups of men and women who did their best to undermine Germany's military occupation of France during World War II. Some would engage in strikes and sabotage, while others would collect and pass intelligence along to the Allies. Needless to say, their operations were highly covert and very dangerous. Okay. What else can you tell me about the Nancy apparently did not Paris. pay any German attention in Paris world June history. 14th, 1940. And after France formally surrendered on June 22nd, the Germans controlled the city. They took whatever they wanted. Food, supplies, houses, artwork, and dictated how Parisians were to live their lives. Naturally, their presence was deeply resented. Some people ignored the situation as best they could. Some collaborated with the Germans, while others, like those in the resistance, fought back until the city was finally liberated on August 25th, 1944. Amazing. Ba -ba. What did you mean when you said Moisette was tried as a collaborator? And she got tried as a collaborator. Citizens who what it not means. only failed to resist the occupation, but actually helped the Germans keep it going. Because Moisette had worked for the Germans as a translator and had a German boyfriend, after the war, many of her countrymen automatically accused her of collaboration. When it was revealed that she had been a member of the resistance, instead of exonerating her, that just made some people think she'd been spying for the Germans, too. As I said before, it was an ugly time, one which poor Noisette spent the rest of her life trying to forget. What's the story behind the Cross of Lorraine? The vertical bar crossed by two horizontal bars is an emblem that was first used by Joan of Arc, uh. as well as the Dukes of Lorraine in the 15th century. Shh. But during and after World War II, it became a symbol of the French resistance. I'm to stop talking. Nowadays, it's not unusual to see it on statues or monuments commemorating the period of French <laughs> history from 1940 to 1945. Do you know anything about the M380 decoder? It's a machine that the resistance is said to have used to encode and decode their messages during the war. To decode a message, the dials on it had to be in the same position as they were when the message was encoded. The famous Enigma machine operated in much the same way. Mm. Do you think Noisette ever used the M380? I would stake my reputation on it. God. What is the Enigma machine? You literally have a book that machine tells you that. Is what the Germans used to encipher and decipher their secret messages during World War II. Allied codebreakers were finally able to figure out how the machine worked, and as a result, some say the war ended two years sooner than it would have otherwise. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. It was nothing. Goodbye. Okie doke. Now I gotta leave and come back so I can talk to JJ. Okay, let's go talk to Jean Mi first. I wish I could just make this stop taking. Mademoiselle Drou, what Drew. is it now? The picture of Manette that was in the June issue of Glam Glam, was it cropped? Do you remember? I'm sure it was. Most photographs are these days. Why? Do you think I could see the uncropped picture? As it happens, all the pictures which I use in my articles are stored right here in my digital assistant. However, I'll help you, mademoiselle, but only if you help me first. You see, the okay. owner of this cafe, he faces Take a drink, a we're being asked to do something. 
The person who makes desserts for him has stepped out for his customary two and a half hour <laughs> We're going to have to make food. Unfortunately, a bus full of American teenagers has pulled up and all are clamoring for parfait. So, I will tell the owner that you will make the parfait, and when you do, he will be indebted to me and will allow me to continue using this table as my office. And I will be indebted yeah, to Yeah, apparently you Nancy doesn't know what a fucking is. Picture. You see how it works? Okay. I get to make parfaits? Sure, I'm going to make oh, Nancy right. excited about this. Okay. Looks like I've got chocolate ice cream, vanilla ice cream, strawberry ice cream, caramel yes. ice cream, okay. bananas, tapioca balls, berries, and whipped cream. Cool. The first one I have to make is an espoir. Oh god. Cream. Strawberry. What? What? Why isn't it? What? What is going on here? Why am I unable to do anything going on? Jesus Christ. Now oh, I can't remember what happened next. Okay, then it was caramel. C'est bien. I'm getting there. Okay. Now they want a long fair. Oh, okay. So, oh, chocolate cream, chocolate cream, strawberries. Ding ding. I'm getting there. Next up, a tropical. Oh, was it? I have a terrible. Oui, c'est ça. I did it right. Now they want a long fair. Okay, that one again. Parfait. He liked it. Next is a corbeau. Oh. There's a banana in the middle. He liked it. He liked what it. He coming up. Oh god, that looks disgusting. Got some tapioca. Strawberry. Anna's cream. Okay. Disgusting. I'm getting there. Here comes a fantasy. Yeah. A Lulu. Lulu. Drink. God, these sounds are I'm terrible. I'm there. There. All done. The owner, Hi, Hot Kettle Cafe. Hi, did a good job. And so, as was oh, our thank agreement, you. Here you guys is are the so picture nice. you wish to see. Great. Thank you. Okie dokie. We got a nine, we got a five, got a three. Beautiful. So, what else do you wish from me? We'll talk again. That's later, it. Okay. A tout à l'heure. I did your shit. Okay, go back. Our place. Talk to our play some hangman. With our friend. Jing Jing. Hey. Hey, Rumi, how's it going? Let's play Hangman. Okay. You know the rules, right? We've already played, sure so do. I should hope so. Great. Okay. I'll think of a six letter word and you try to guess what it is. Ready? Ready. Oh. Z. Nope. U. Sorry. M. You lose. Y. Oopsie. L. O. Wrong. V. Nope. 
E. Right you are. J. Wrong. I. Wrong. N. Wrong. G. Wanna see the word? Carpet. Close. May I have that piece of paper? Sure. Wanna play again? No. Anytime you wanna play, just let me know. I'll let oh. you get back to your cookie dough. Okay. Sweet. Now let's go desecrate a corpse. That's what the cool kids are doing these days, apparently. Money well spent, I hope. Yeah, Magic. I barely got any. This must be the place Zoo was talking about. And there's a skull. Zoo sure picked a weird drop off place for that autograph. Cool. Let's go home. Oh, I couldn't remember where I was for a moment. I get to call him back. And maybe he'll tell me if I find... I don't remember why I'm calling this guy, but... I think he's supposed to tell me about the catacombs. Hello? It's Nancy Drew. Did you get the autograph? It is magnifique! You were wise not to try to fool me, Nancy. I know Jean's handwriting better than I know my own. So, here is what I know about that symbol. I call it the hazelnut because to me, that is what it looks like. A noisette. Wait a minute. A noisette? Yes, yes. That is French for hazelnut. I have seen it in only one place in the catacombs. To reach this place, return to the catacombs and go to the skull where you left Jing Jing's autograph. Lift the top part of the skull and push the red button. That will open a secret passage that will lead you to the Noisette. Great, thank you. But if you go there, you must be careful. The tunnels, the tunnel they police. are one problem. The tunnels, they are another. What do you mean? Some of the tunnels, especially near the Mouton Beverage Company, they are water... Mm. water filled with trees. You mean water logged? <laughs> water filled with yes, trees. Water logged. You must swim underwater to reach the place where I saw the Noisette. And the water is very cold. You will need a wetsuit. Good luck, Nancy Drew. You will need that too. Okay. Now we gotta go make some money by painting a bunch of things. And then buy that wetsuit. And then go... Swim in some sewer tunnels, basically. Disgusting. Super excited. I certainly love. Bonjour. Okay. What entries, Mademoiselle? Let's paint. May I do another painting? Since I've Be been using all of my money on going into the catacombs for some. This one's fastest to do, which is why I do it. Monsieur, how's this? Joe always another asks, like, job. I Here don't know. Your money. Do you wish to paint another? Yep. I'd love to. Let's just keep painting okay. them. Be my guest. Just paint and paint and paint. Again, the same exact one. I feel like I'm getting super fast at this. I'm going to speed, speed run this painting. No. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? 
Definitely. Be my guest. Make 45 euros real quick. Then see if I can buy this wetsuit. <laughs> Oops. Ah, well. Oh. <laughs> Oops, I missed her. Missed her, man. Monsieur, yeah. how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. Let's buy a used wetsuit. Oh, I only have 72. I don't think I can get it for seven. How much do you want for this wetsuit? 125 euro. I couldn't possibly pay more than 63 euros. Vendu. Okay, sweet. What is tickles if fancy? Um, I got nine euros left, and that's it. So, right now. I'm good. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Au revoir. Maybe later I'll come back and I'll paint some sunflowers. For more money, because it costs me five euros every time I want to go into the catacombs. Un entrée. Beautiful. Just hit that big red button. That's how it works, right? I'm pretty sure. Okay, I hate this. Um, the tunnel police. I'm totally done with that, dude. Shh. Tu l'as entendu? Coucou. Y a quelqu'un? Allô? J'ai entendu quelque chose. Non, c'était rien. T'es sûr? Ouais. Allô. <gasps> awesome. That was fun. I got this beautiful pop filter, pop guard, off of Amazon, but of course it was broken moment it came to me so I'm having to just, it's just always such a, a thing trying to return return things to Amazon so I'm just trying to make it work which means it's interesting Ugh. please please there we go Ta -da! Now I won't get spit into my microphone I was um working today and I I teach fitness classes and I realized I was like spitting quite heavily where I came in not where I came in oh I'm very confused What? I can never... I hate this. Aha! Disgusting. Let's put on that disgusting wetsuit. Well, it's time to put on the wetsuit. Hope it's more comfortable than it looks. Ooh, this place is crawling with four-legged vermin. Hope they leave my stuff alone. I hate this. Save again right here.
Bluff. I'm terrified of drowning, so... Um, that's why. Well, I'm somewhere now. Flopping around in my little wetsuit. Beautiful. Okay. A rough translation would be, in Europe, near the new bridge, Snow White lives in a red castle. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. Doubtful that it's also 1945. Darn. I can't remember. Um... Of some. I know I took a lot of pictures yesterday because I wasn't in the whole writing mood. No, not yet. Okay. Summer. Okay, right, now let's go try and find that bottle. <gasps> Oh, I just picked this up. Oh, I'm just going in complete circles. I'm going in circles. I found it, Nancy. Gosh. Okay. I'm going to take a quick break. Um, I will be right back, so don't you know, do anything weird without me.
got a cookie. Everything is good. Well, except for the fact that I'm in a part of the game I don't like. <laughs> I always give this to Ariana. I always get claustrophobic. So I'm having issues. I always expect the... The wine or whatever. Beverage. To be... This room? Or is it... I don't know where it is. Aha. There we go. Okay. Now how do I get back? That's the question now. Do I remember where I am? Not really. Do I remember how to get back? Definitely not. But at least I'm not drowning? Oh, okay. I got back. That's cool. Ah, a rat. Oh, whatever. That rat's probably thinking, oh no, an American. Hey, my book on codes is missing. Uh oh. Hmm. Okay. Now. Good to go do some deals some dude who seems to have stolen something from a museum. That belongs in a museum. Or whatever. Mm. Bonjour, Mademoiselle Retons. And she returns with a bottle of Mouton Forte, 1968. Oh la la, you did it. So... I take this and give you this. Take it. You have earned it. Thanks. Damn straight. What else tickles the fancy? Nothing. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very she says well. after just doing some weird-ass deal. Au revoir. I don't really want to buy anything. I'm more in the mood for bartering. Okay. on this thing move no fucking sh that's the whole point of it nancy okay. looks like i should type a message using my own keyboard um oh did they okay then Guess I gotta take a picture of that. I ain't writing all that down. Sure. Oops. Not what I wanted to pick up. That's what I wanted. Looks like French to me. Well, fuck.
Okay, so. Red, white. Red. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Nance. Must be very important. That's finished. That's finished. Oops, haven't done that. Oh. That's finished. Been there. Done. That's finished. That's finished. That's f been there. Done. Been there. Been there. Done that. Oops. Haven't done that. Okay. That's finished. Check. Still need to do that. Can't check that off yet. But I literally. I've been using it. I'm literally just using that. Oops, have done out. that. Oh. Or the machine that's pictured in that book. Oops, haven't done that. Am I crazy? Been there, done. Can't check that off yet. That's finished. Okay, cool. Looks like we gotta go to uh, talk to Peter now. That's nice. I like how we're not doing anything we're supposed to be doing now. So, like, the real reason we're in fucking France is to figure out what's going on with her, but, you know, whatever. Mr. Von Schwesterkronk? Are you in there? Who's there? Nancy Drew. I just wanted to ask you some questions. I'm very busy. You'll have to come back. But this is really important. Is there anything I can do to help you? Well, if you want, you could take some stock photos for me. Sure. The list of things I need pictures of is on my desk. You can use the camera I let you borrow. I'll get right on it. Cool. Take a drink. Someone told us what to do. Oh, no. The list is in French. Good thing I can hit it with this dictionary. What? I can't hit it with the dictionary. Ugh. Okay, stapler. I gotta have a, there's a stapler around here, right? Well, at least I can get the spider. Hmm. Don't tell me I have to do this every time I need to get in, right? God. Right. Beautiful. Awesome. So we got our rack. What else is on the list? So we have to use a stapler, a bird, a skull, a cross, and a. No, sorry, that's a switch. Skull. 
I could ever remember. Teapot. Okay. Now where to get that one at least. Stapler in here, so I have to go all the way back to my Ugh. It's really sure. That's fine. I don't have enough money to go back into Oh, I always do. Okay. I do have a stapler. Good. Stapler. Beautiful. Uh, what else is on this? Oh, I got a stapler. I got that. Okay. I can get this one here as well. Cool, Minette. Don't worry about me. I'm just. When it comes to making tea, been there, done that. Yes, I know, Nancy, but I need you to take a picture of the fucking pot. Through making I know. Tea, hopefully for good. It's just a really bad picture of a teapot. There's a better. What? Wow. <sighs> Do you have any idea who sent you that box of cockroaches? No. Probably just some idiot who has no understanding of how much I have to do and how long it takes me to do it and thinks the world revolves around him and what he wants and can't understand why people don't jump just because he snaps his finger. I mean, probably just some practical joker, that's all. Someone with a German accent called for you when you were fitting JJ, but he didn't leave a message. Oh? He sounded kind of angry. I'm sure it wasn't important, so don't worry about it. Okie dokie. Um, I have some tactless questions. Why do you wear that mask? This mask is a statement, Nancy. It's my way of telling society that it Okey pays dokey. far too much attention to the face. I design clothes for the person. I'm telling society, forget the face. Look at the person. Look at my creations. The colors, the fabrics, the lines I choose. They are meant to enhance the person, not the face. The person. The face is inconsequential. I thought maybe you were just trying to save money on makeup. That was a joke. <clears throat> Any more questions? Why'd you break up with Dieter? Why did you break up with Dieter? That is absolutely unequivocally 100% none of your business. And if you ever ask me anything about Dieter again, you're fired. Now go away and let me work. He has him. Okay, I can get cross care of at the park. I'm not gonna look. A candle. Where is there a candle? Oh, I could probably fucking. We gotta go back to the park anyway to take a picture of the cross. That's definitely how fashion works. Come on. That's a cross. He didn't say it had to be a normal cross. Make a little bit of money so we can go back into the Bonjour. What intrigues mademoiselle this time? May I do another painting? Be my guest. Sure. Alright, let's do the more interesting one. Right? 
I don't know. I go back through. Amazing. Okay. Awesome. We're just gonna not deal with that for the rest of the night. Yeah, I know, right? She just doesn't ever learn any of the languages. Is weird about the figure that. Brown, probably. There's brown I missed. It's the brown. Oh, I misclicked. Oh well. Monsieur, how's this? Terrible. Another fine job. Fuck off, he, he says. your money. Do you wish to paint another? Nope. Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. Nope. I really don't want to buy anything. I don't right want now. a Tin. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Au revoir. Okay. Go back to the... Ah, back to the stupid... Thingy McBobber. Yeah, Thingy McBobber. Out it comes. Okay. Of school picture handle. So now we got a stapler, a spider, a candle, a skull, a cross, and a teapot. We did it. We did it, friends. Did you take all those photos for me? I sure did. They're all right there in your camera. So, you had some questions for me? What do you know about Noisette Tournade? The French resistance fighter? I seem to recall reading that she died recently. Sure. That's about it. Why do you ask? Sure, that's all you know. I know three things, Mr. Von Schwesterkronk. One, Noisette Tornade, whose obituary you were carrying until it fell out of your pocket in the park. Just gonna Noisette put that out there. I do remember that still. <laughs> Two, during World War II, she was rumored to have hidden several valuable works of art from the Germans hmm. somewhere in Paris. And three, she was romantically involved with a German soldier named Hans. Hans von Schwesterkrank. Oh, yes. I know all those things, too. Hans was my great uncle. But there are one no of shit, things Sherlock. you don't know, Fräulein. You could not have known that just before he passed away, my great uncle gave me that. What is it? Something Noisette gave to him. Turn it over and look on the back. Will do. Unfortunately, my great uncle couldn't remember what any of it meant. She used to be the director of public works, so I went to her favorite park to see if anything there might help me figure out what that well, means. Well, you're kind but of I right. Nothing. You can keep that if you want. I can? Yes, I give up. I don't care anymore. Okie dokie. Had you shown this to anyone else? No, I was too afraid Minette would hear about it. You see, since Minette owns the Moulin where Noisette spent most of her life, I thought dating her would help me figure out what that card meant. 
but then something totally unexpected and tragic happened. I fell in love. Oh with no. Minette is one of the cleverest, most infuriating, yet fascinating women I have ever met. So she knows nothing about the connection between Noisette and your great uncle? I told her nothing. I thought that if I found that missing artwork, I would be a hero and Minette would change her mind about me. But I can barely keep my mind on my works these days, let alone on finding some mystical treasure. If you want to look for it, go right ahead. Awesome, will do. Right Thanks, now, dude. The only thing I'm interested in recovering is Minette. Amazing. Sweet. Okay. So. Awesome. I can't. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I don't remember how I'm supposed to do that. Um, oh, I really thought I'd be able to. Okay, well, let's go back to our place. <laughs> Figure out the significance. Check. Check. Still need to okay. do that. Oops, haven't done that. Check. Red left green. Can't check that off yet. Okay. Can't check that off yet. That's really irritating to me. Like, I know it's fine, but... Hey, Rumi, how's it going? I'll let you get back to your cookie dough. Take care. Take care. I'm a little stuck. So I will ask the Hardy Boys what they think. It's Nancy. Is Joe there too? Joe, pick up. It's Nancy. Right here. Hey, Nance, is Jing Jing with you? Well, yes, she is, but... Let me talk to her, just for a second. Joe, she's busy, and I really don't know her that well. You're not talking about me, are you? Oh my gosh, that was her? That was J.J. Ling? Joe, you're hyperventilating. Of course I'm hyperventilating! That was J.J. Ling! What else is going on, Nan? Would you guys mind giving me a hint about something? We thought you'd never ask. What would you like us to tell you? I guess I this. I used the M380 decoder to decode that message, but all I got is another message in French. Now what? First thing you should do is translate it, then check out Manette's studio. Maybe it will come in handy once something in there opens up. Thanks, guys. You've helped a lot. You need a hint? We're your man. Men. I'll remember that. Bye. Okay. Basically, just telling me to go back to the Oh well. Sure. I don't have anything else to do. And I should probably be trying to do my actual job. But I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? It means their actual job. Okay. What about Heather. What's up? Nothing? Thanks for your help. Okay. okay. If the symbols on these discs have something hmm. to do with the dials on the M380 decoder that Noisette Tornade used. Uh, 
I'm going to say then I'm going to turn in um Heather what there's something that I think you should know about Heather oh what one of those anonymous letters you got was from her no those letters aren't from Heather who are they from I thought that this is all very confusing as you can imagine you're going to have to leave while I sort it all out just go okie dokie in here what did all of this I don't know what all of this has to do I don't know. Let's go try and talk to everyone. Because I'm kind of stuck. Especially since someone stole voting book. Mademoiselle Drew, what is Never mind. It now? I tried. It was a pleasure talking to you. A tout à l'heure. Right, well, go back. See if Heather's been fired yet or not. All right, that does it. Nancy, you're fired. What did I do? I should have gotten the phone. I was going towards the. Oh, I'm going towards the wrong desk. Gotcha. I was like, I see a phone there. When I was younger, I used to think that the um, second chance. Well, I hope you're happy. Heather? You told Minette about that letter and she fired me. So that's it. I'm history. Gone. Kaput. Got the big boot. All thanks to you, you think. You're the one that sent that letter, not me. Yeah, well, what's done is done. And for your information, I was going to have you be one of the models in Minette's upcoming show. So that's right. You were going to be a runway model in a Paris yeah, okay. show. Yeah, okay. But isn't now, it for a plus size line? Chance that Minette has an upcoming is show, Nancy? It's extremely doubtful that whoever books the models will consider, even for a second, hiring some corn pone little blabbermouth from Podunkville, USA. So looks like you blew it, Nancy. I don't think Nancy wanted to be a model. To be fair. Okay. Ow. Just left all her shit here. What? I get back to work. I was hoping you'd say that. How rude. I don't know then. I doing wrong? Loud. I hate that it makes you still about the number. I don't know.
Hello? It's me. How was your run? Jog. It was definitely a jog. And the best part is, it's over. What's going on, Nan? I took this very strange phone call from Annette. At least I tried to. What was so strange about it? The guy wouldn't give me his name, and he sounded very hostile. And he had a German accent. Ow. And, not long after that, some unknown person sent oh. Lynette a box of cockroaches. Ew, yuck. Tell me about it. They got loose all over her office, and she made me find them and put them back in the box. Double yuck. Did any kind of note come with them? Nope. Sending anonymous letters is one thing, but sending live vermin? Sounds to me like things are getting personal. Yeah, let's just hope they don't start to get deadly. Think you could give me a hint? You betcha. For a while, at least. Until we get all hinted out. Of course, then you can always give Frank and Joe Hardy a call. But for now, what do you need to know? Any idea what the deal is with that card with all the eyes on it that Dieter gave me? Remember that little grill type thing you found in the passageway you discovered at Dieter's place? Yeah. What happens when you put it on top of that card? And don't be surprised if you suddenly catch a code. You two are one. But I don't. Ain't it the truth? See ya. My issue is someone took that decoding book from me. I don't how to use that type of so I'm just kind of Sue Loren four red left one, green five, apparently. Four. By the way. Beautiful. Cool. Apparently I just had to fuck around with it until I until I figured it out. Um Been there, done that. Figure out the signal of. Okay. Check. Let's go to Pond. It's late. I can do this. Or tomorrow. go home and sleep. Apparently. To the park. The music in this one is really weird. I'll bet those numbers are movable. Sweet. Oh. Uh, ah, uh, purple. Light it up. Okay, sounds good.
that squirrel doesn't like people messing with his statue. Squirrel. Squirrel, though. Oops, haven't done that. Oops, haven't done that. That's been. Squirrel must have jumped on the handle and moved the windmill. Darn you! Just quit that! Hey. Been there, done that. You don't got nothing for me. Well, let's see. Well, actually. Is this pie tin very expensive? Very cheap. Fifteen euro. I'd rather pay you eight euros. Vendu. What else tickles the fancy? I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well, sure to have. Nothing actually, from I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Beautiful. Welcome back. What do you like? How much are you asking for this steak? That is made of the finest wood, and it can be used for many, many things. It is one of my most popular items. For that reason, I sell for 13 euros. I'll give you 10 euros. Voila. What else do you like? I'll take the string. Is this just regular string? That no. Very good string. Very strong. Very good to have around. You can buy for only 6 euros. Would you take 5 euros for it? Voila. What else do you like? I guess I'm just not in a buying mood. I liter literally just you bought two things from again? her. Just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. No. Stop that, you little pest. Yes. There we go. I'm just... Okie dokie! Time is it. There, yeah, we still got time. Now I gotta go buy that stupid flashlight, don't it's I? It's black in there. I'm gonna need a flashlight. I don't know if I have enough money for a flashlight. I'm just gonna come back out to the park. Het pants completely wet from standing in that. And I'm gonna be like, hey, you wanna sell me? Bonjour, mademoiselle. What you need, I am sure to have. Well, I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. That is only ten euro. Um, five euro seems fair. It is yours. Beautiful. Now I have one. Uh, 
Uh oh. Um. Have it. Shh, I can't do anything else. Fuck. I'm, um. Okay. Anything else? It's stuck. Okay. Load this game. That didn't fix it. No! I'm stuck. Did I last say? What? There's something that I think you should know about Heather. Oh? What? One of those anonymous letters you got was from her. No. Those letters aren't from Heather. Who are they from? I'm so that... angry right now. This is all very confusing, as you can imagine. You're going to have to leave while I sort it all out. Just go. Ren four one five four. Okay, I'm just going to ignore. I'll bet those numbers are movable. you asking for this steak that is made of the finest wood and it can be used for many many things it is one of my most popular items for that reason i sell for 13 euros i'd rather pay you seven euros the price is 13 euros i don't think i want it after all what else do you like is this just regular string that is very good string very strong very good to have around you can buy for only six euros. Would you take five euros for it? Voila. What else do you like? What did you say you'd sell this steak for? I sell for 13 euros. I'll take it. Voila. What else just do you for like? The pen. Guess I'm just not in a buying mood. When you want to look again, just come back. I will. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bonjour. What I have to do another painting sister. now, because now I don't have enough fucking money to buy painting? it all. Be my I actually like, clicked the wrong goddamn line. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. Is this pie tin very expensive? Very cheap. Fifteen euro. I'd rather pay you eight euros. Vendu. 
What the hell tickles the fancy? You can do that with him. You can't do that with the one right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. that hey what's going on shoot that pesky squirrel must have jumped on the handle and moved the windmill What you need, I am sure to have. Well, I could use a flashlight. Mine was in my lost luggage. That is only 10 euro. Batteries included. Would you take 8 euros for it? It is yours. What else appeals to you? Okay. Didn't break Actually, this time. I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. Just have to have that stupid conversation with Heather again later. No. What you need, I am sure to have. Well, actually, I'm not interested in buying anything right now. Then you will just have to come back. I might just do that. Bye. Au revoir. Okay. to get out my flashlight there we go and uh, now take a drink because it's a walking animation we can't skip i don't have anything left to drink so ah, just clomping around getting our steps in Amazing. Okay. Sounds good. We just walked like a mile so that we can get a gigantic key. But could that key be a part of? I don't. I don't know. <sighs> More walking animation. So how's it going, guys? How's it? anyone there I'm gonna just like start breaking in long vice that's for the obscure obscure it's not really obscure to be fair most people don't know that it's the cool current musical about founding fathers is Hamilton, not 1776, so, no. Okay. Look at our test. Check. Uh, I don't know. That's finished. Been there. That's finished. Been there, done that. Check. Been there, done. That's finished. That's finished. Been there, done that. Still need to do that. Still need to do that. Mm. That's finished. Did that indeed. Can't check that off yet. Check. Okay. It's looking pretty good, guys. What to do with that key I found? Wait, I can do this I figured. Tomorrow. Figured that was what was gonna happen here.
makes me go to bed. I like... I like that they keep all of the past, um, things. Yeah. It's nice. Making me that weird. That's, uh-oh. There's a bomb. Well, I hope you're happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Whatever. I don't care about this. She fired me. So that's it. I'm history. Gone. Go put. Got I really don't place. care oh, anything about you, you, Heather. Think you're For... the one that sent that letter, not me. Yeah, well, what's done is oh, done. Oh no. For your information, I got fired for threatening my boss. That's right. You were going to be I mean, I can't believe she's upset about like wouldn't now, you, after doing that, realize that you're at fault? Wouldn't you go, hmm, I guess I did threaten my boss to torture her. I mean, right? Okay, so let's defeat, uh, let's get rid of that bomb. So, let's... Actually, just save first. Cool. What is that? Who's out there? It's just me, Nancy. Uh oh. What did you say? Nothing. Everything's fine. You just stay in there and keep working. Looks like this thing is set to go off if she opens the door. Uh oh. Mmm. Nice. <laughs> and that is why I save very regularly this game. What is that? Who's out there? It's just me, Nancy. Uh-oh. What did you say? Nothing. <laughs> Everything's fine. You just stay in there and keep working. Looks okay. Like this thing is set to go off if she opens the door. I've got to figure out how to disarm this thing before she opens the door. What are you doing out there? Nothing. Just stay okay. in there. Everything's so fine. So they can be the right, the same color, and it's fine. But they need to be, or if they're the same shape, it's fine. But they can't change shape and color at the same time. Look, okay, all of these things. Okay, it's just the. That's cool. Um, this needs yellow. Oh, this one works. That doesn't. Either red or a triangle. You're doing something. I can hear you. I'm tidying up. You just keep working. Oh, okay. So I can't like turn them or anything. Um. Oof. Uh. does though. Mm -hmm. 
That could be a yellow dot Look, you or are red. Really starting to bother me. I'm sorry. I'm almost done. Really. Hmm. I'm so bad at this. thinking just now. That works there. All right, stop it right now or I'm Shush. coming out there. No, no, don't come out. I'm just about done. Might just look this one up because I am failing quite miserably right now. It's really Almost works. And really. Why am I so bad at this, guys? That's better. This is my main problem spot right That's fine. That. Just fine, which is that. Which is. Whatever you're doing, it's about to end. No, Manette, please stay there. Don't open the door. Too late. That's fine. Take a drink. I mean, we didn't kill her, but... What is that? God Who damn it. There? It's just me, Nancy. Uh-oh. Now I have doing? to do it all over Nancy, again. Everything's fine. You That's just the irritating bit. Working. Looks like this thing is set to go off if she opens the door. I've got to figure out how to disarm this thing before she opens the door. What are you doing out there? Okay. Nothing. That just much. stay in there. Everything's fine. That one works there. Doing something, I can hear you. I'm tidying up. Damn, you just keep working. Ah, no, that doesn't work. Works to that. That works. Okay, so what am I doing wrong here? Anyone? Moment. I don't want to have to do this again. We're just gonna get up real quick.
Well, I'm very wrong. There I'm we done. go. I won't bother you anymore. I promise. I still think mine would have thing before she sees it and really freaks. Okay, put it in the trash can. That's fine. Okay. That was exciting. Fun. Am I right? Okay. I'm going to. Yeah, stop there. Pretty much perfectly. Um, so yeah. Thanks, you guys, for coming. I'll be doing this again tomorrow night, and hopefully I won't be so tired. I don't have any work tomorrow. I'm very excited. Um, so yeah, I'll be back. 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, so yeah. Back and... Hmm. It's out, y'all.